Watford finished all their goal chances to the bottom of the net, giving the mm. goalkeeper no chance. Shane Barrett got in, and look, I think Shane Barrett was one of the few Cork players who actually ran directly down the guts of the Watford defence rather than going laterally and trying to pop over a point, which is something that when I watched back the first half earlier, it was like time and time again, Cork lads aren't going up the guts. But then again, maybe this is part of the reason why. So if you look at this instance in the first half, it's seven points to five to Watford at this stage. Shane Barrett has the ball and he's soloing straight up the guts. Now, this is what you want to do. Obviously, you want to draw a man. And look, you can see Cardiff Daly is tracking Dara Fitzgibbon just underneath where Barrett is to the left. Uh, that's probably Conor Lahan and Shane McNulty. Now, I think Watford has set up brilliantly here. And ultimately, Barrett gets caught and ends up uh, getting dispossessed by Ty Gaborka, who's just at the tip of the D there. Now, if you if you compare this, at, like that's really disciplined defending from Watford. And they just kind of narrow his options. He probably should have taken the point. But the goal was never on. And Cork were obviously looking for a goal here. Now, if you look, um, I think I'll bring up the first one here. This is um, Bennett's goal. So Neil Montgomery, who, and the two goals came in the space of 50 seconds, 25 minutes and three seconds, 25 minutes and 53. So it was that rat attack goal like we used to see with Kilkenny back in the day. But anyway, Neil Montgomery was involved in both goals. He got the ball here. And you'd seriously think from this position here, there is no chance that uh, Cork are going to concede a goal here. But obviously, he turns his man, who I think is Rob Downey there. And you can see Bennett, who's 50 yards out from the goal. And you think there's no real issue at this stage. But Mark Coleman, he's standing there on the far left of the screen, kind of in no man's land. Because, number one, if the ball is ran out shortly, he's too far away to really do a whole pile. He's back, back there marking space where nobody really is. And you can see Mikey Kiley has gone out all the way to the far flank. And Hutchinson has gone out to the wing as well. So they're opening up space, which makes it quite difficult for Coleman. This isn't, you know, I'm just not just blaming him, but he kind of is caught between two stools. But you see, as Montgomery keeps going, he solos on and he does the the, the switch hand pass in for Bennett, who solos, who solos on and finishes it. But Coleman is kind of caught between two stools, which makes it very, very difficult for him um, to actually make a tackle because he can't get into the ruck. And he at this stage, he's just going to be bypassed. Then with the other goal, sorry, this was a goal that they that Watford should have scored just before half time. It was a ruck ball. I've circled in yellow there in the middle, Mark Coleman. He got sucked towards the ruck, but he never actually got in a tackle or anything like that, which left the back door open, a hand pass out, and Prendergast should have scored. So the point that I'm getting to, and it's obviously a little bit more difficult, mm. Willie, when you've got images rather than the video there, is just that when you're playing as a sweeper, you kind of have to know when to go and when to stay. And it's a... It, it just a couple of times it just did not work out there for Mark Coleman, which is very different, I suppose, at the other end for Ty de Borca, who's number one doing it for longer. But maybe also the pressure out the field makes it much easier for him because a lot of the time, ball that was just hit under pressure is just landing in front of him. I, and I think that's the key as regards you. You look at the last twenty minutes of the semi final with Kilkenny, where Kilkenny went back to route one, lamping the ball down the field. Mark Coleman looked very, very good because he was like that. He was getting to the pitch of the ball. With Watford's athleticism, with their ability to play the stick passes, with their ability to come off the shoulder, it somehow makes Mark Coleman redundant in that. In, in that, I know. Look, that's a that, that that's a screenshot, but that happened throughout through, throughout the, the game and any other centre back that will sit in that area if the ball is not being lamped down on top of them. So I think, look, that, that, that there has to be a, a learning there for, for 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 Cork, but I think it comes from a little bit of maybe a passive play in the middle area from Cork, not allowing them to. To, to to have the to really go at uh, Watford like and like that go down the guts of them, yes but not get turned over or have runners off the shoulder have shot options as opposed to being turned over and and the, and the ball going go, going back down the field it's yeah it's 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 something I suppose that Watford have worked on with Tyke Deborka probably the best in that role as regards of being that defensive linchpin yes but. Again, attacking with a with a vibrancy, we missed him in the last couple of years with that cruciate injury. He was a massive loss to to Watford in their in their in their All Ireland tilts a couple of years ago. He's back. That's the I suppose the the, the most encouraging thing from from a Waterford perspective is they have so many options. Like you're the daily on, on, on injured as well, and and guys that can like he stepped in at whatever 19 years of age to play in All Ireland final and played well. So again, the pedigree of the players that they have. But I, I suppose back to back, back to your your point there. Mark Coleman is redundant in the system where teams are working the ball with that energy to that area because like they're just they're, they'll bypass them and like 
it was just so interesting. Like Watford have had 15 shots in the last three games as regards Tip, Kilkenny, and Wexford. They've scored 10 goals. Like their aggregate score over the last those three games is 1068 to 160. Like it's just it's phenomenal the goals they're scoring and the chances they're creating. And I, that that's the that, that that's the I suppose the dilemma for opposition teams and managers to set up against because if you are passive in that middle area, if you allow them to work the ball, which they're so good at, you're 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 effectively uh, uh, making your own centre back redundant. <laughs> 